I'm back and I'm here to revive my lock talk series now if you've been watching my channel for a long time or if you've browsed through my older videos then you may be familiar with my lock talk series where I basically answer questions in my recent long ass video where I kind of just go off about my feelings at the time I mentioned that I wanted to revive my series so here it is and I have a couple questions that I'll be answering for you. The first question comes from Abina. My locks are jet black, but how do I dye them brown? I've tried everything, but they don't seem to absorb any dye. They are still very black. I don't want to bleach them. Please advise. And um, I went back and forth with her a little bit and she expressed to me that she dyed her hair black. So it's different when you have naturally jet black hair or if you have dyed jet black hair. If you have naturally jet black hair, like myself, you can do what I did and you can dye your hair blonde. Use a blonde box dye and that will lift your color. And that's the first thing that I did when I hit one year locked. I'll have that video above. Check out my cards. And yeah, it lifted my hair to an, um, a dark brown. And then eventually I kept lifting in, I got like a red color and I played around, check out my dye journey to see all the different colors that I've messed around with. But yeah, so if your hair is naturally jet black, that's a way that you can lighten your hair to a brown or you want to lighten your hair before you really do any color to it because jet black is not going to really take. It's really not. I mean minimally, but not really. Now, if you have dyed jet black hair, I'm sorry to break it to you, it's not going to be an easy task to go from any color from jet black hair. I would recommend that you, at that point, go to a salon and have a consultation with someone who specializes in dye. I am not in the position to advise you beyond that point. Yeah, um, if you have jet black hair, you using a blonde dye is not really going to be effective. If you've dyed your hair jet black, that is. So, yeah, keep that in mind if you have a similar situation as Abina. I hope I helped. Thanks for your question. The next question comes from Wind Singer Full. I have a lock question. I'm at seven months. Locks are in different stages. Some of them develop these little hairballs that seem to hang off the ends. They look crazy. I think they... I think I've seen where someone says you should leave them alone because they form the closed ends of your locks. Is this true? They drive me nuts because they seem to float out there, held by a few threads. I sometimes just cut them off. Any words of experience, lock wisdom? Now, if you're at the point where you have those little balls dangling, I wonder if I have any right now. If you have those little balls dangling at the ends of your locks, at that point, your ends are pretty much sealed. That's not what's holding your lock together. That little ball that's hanging on by a thread is not doing anything for your locks besides making it look a little messy. Okay, I don't have any right now because if that happens to me, I tend to just rip it off. So yeah, if you want to, you can rip them off. You can, oh, this is kind of, this looks like it's coming in, but not quite. Like eventually this will, this will be a little ball hanging off. I can tell already. Rip them off, cut them off, trim them off, whatever. But um, if you don't like the way it looks, there's no reason to keep it. It's not going to, it's not a vital part in your lock locking process so don't worry about that I know you said that you're seven months locked you're probably very locked at that point you're you don't have anything to worry about I would definitely recommend that you trim it off if you don't like the way it looks